Never seen another dog do this in my entire career. And you can see he starts to shake. Uh, and he barks, so spring Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. What's going on guys, Tom Davis here, America's Canine Educator. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a very odd case, something I've never dealt with in my entire career. I have a Malinois that was literally left in the back of a U-Haul to kind of live by himself. Uh, so obviously he was neglected, abandoned, and mentally abused. And this dog is in our board and train program. He's our newest board and train member. He's, his name is Bones. Uh, he's super sweet, but obviously has some very, very hardcore wired characteristics that are making it very hard for him to live a normal life because of his upbringing. He suffers from everything from anxiety to being terrible on the leash. His owners actually cannot walk him really anywhere without the harness and without him constantly trying to back up out of it. It's very dangerous for him. He's had a lot of complications throughout this process. So today we're going to be doing the first session with Bones and introducing uh, how to build confidence, how to reduce anxiety with the dog and hopefully get over this really weird quirk. If you got cork, quirk, quirk not cork like a bottle but cork quirk, quirk anyway if you guys haven't yet do not forget like this video subscribe to my channel we'll be uploading every tuesday and saturday at least and i appreciate you guys watching let's get right into the video all right you guys i'm just gonna go grab bones now i have a couple different leashes i have of course our no bad dogs training leash i also have a 15 foot long line and then I have just a regular slip leash. Um, so I, I brought all three of these things for different reasons. Um, so I'm just gonna go in, I'll bring them out and we'll, we'll figure out what to do. I don't know, this is such a weird case. We've never seen it before. So um, we'll just get them out and see what to do. As I mentioned guys before, uh, Bones has a really hard time. He's, he's really had this weird thing with him having to go against walls, and you can see he starts to shake. Uh, and he barks, so spring one. Watch what he does, is he's very clingy, um, and then he doesn't want to get away from people. So when he clings onto something, and then he barks, and he reacts, and so like I was saying before, guys, like super anxious, obviously, you're seeing the vocalization, very insecure, if you, if you notice through his body language. Come here, Bones. Um, and this is the first time I've met him too, so he doesn't really know me that well. But you can tell just in his body language, his tail's tucked a bit. Um, he's constantly looking for an escape. Um, as you can see, he feels most comfortable on a wall because of his, his foundational past or whatever. So this is the part, guys, that I was talking about. He's literally pinned up against the wall. I've never seen another dog do this in my entire career, where he feels most comfortable against the wall. So he'll literally come out and then he'll pin against the wall because of his, you know, what happened to him in the beginning of his life. All right, so we're gonna be working on anxiety, leash pressure, confidence building, uh, and just getting this dog in a better state of mind because just watch his behavior, guys. He's very insecure. He doesn't really know what to do or what his job is supposed to be. And there he goes back against the wall. So it's, it's very like almost OCD type of behavior where he's, he's just got like a, He's just got like a really bad problem uh, with anxiety and you can hear him vocalize. So, and he tries to back out, which is really tough. That's why we have a harness on him guys is because he literally will try to back out of anything. So as you can tell, high levels of anxiety, uh, not good. So let's try to figure this out with Mr. Bones. So first thing I'm gonna do for a little bit more control guys, cause a dog that's anxious needs exercise and control. So first thing I'm gonna do is just get out my little slip and I'm gonna start working on leash pressure with them. So for those of you who don't know what a slip leash is, it's exactly how it sounds. It's basically a leash with a slip right in it. I know, buddy. Come here, Bones. It's okay. And it's, been, it's been weird for me to see a dog do that as well. Just literally bark into the blue at literally nothing. So it could be some genetical stuff, guys. Could be some stuff, you know, up in here that we're working with, but we're gonna do the best we can to make it better. Good, Bones, come. 
And again, guys, what I'm doing is I'm giving him direction. He needs some sort of job right now and I'm doing that and the long line is on him just because he's so infamous for backing out of stuff. So it's just a safety precaution. So back and forth leash pressure, guys. Come, good. So my overall goal with him, guys, is gonna be to eliminate a lot of the barking and uh, vocalization that you're seeing, as well as eliminate a lot of the pacing and uh, anxious behaviors he's creating. Um, so that's my goal is to just giving him a job and continuing this till I feel like he's uh, a little bit calmer. And then we'll do some other exercises to build the uh, confidence in general. So I want you to watch why this works. It's not just me walking back and forth. I want you to actually conceptualize why this is working. So I come out, the dog goes one way, bones come. Good, he did a good job there. Good job, buddy. Good, I'm gonna do it on this end. Bones come. Good, so he's getting a lot better now. Before he was bouncing off at the end of the leash, non-responsive, not taking direction. And that's what this is about, guys, is the dog's not taking direction at all. So if you have a dog that's anxious, like this guy right here, he doesn't know exactly what he should be doing or shouldn't be doing. So you can tell he's just constantly like looking, he's on, he's, he's constantly trying to figure out what he wants to do. And a dog like that, regardless of why this is happening, whether it's neurological, genetical, or both or whatever, he needs a job, he needs something to do. So literally by going back and forth, giving him structure, giving him something to do with directional changes and starting, to, oh, knock the camera, starting to cue like the heel or the cum, um, is the first step into doing that. So we're gonna continue that. Come on, Bones. A lot of, again, a lot of directional changes, guys. So what you wanna do, cut the dog off, go a different direction. Cut the dog off, go a different direction. Cut the dog off, go a different direction. Wow. Come on, Bones. Come on, Jeff. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, Bones. Good job. Let's go this way. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Good job. The other thing that I'm looking for, guys, on top of the stuff I've already talked about, is to stop sweating. Just kidding, it is blazing out here. But anyway, uh, is engagement. I want him to start looking at me. So again, over time, continually engagement with, he, with me, looking at me, not barking at all, um, and continuing to just get better. Come on, buddy. Sit. Good job. Good sit. Good job. Good job. So I wanna just uh, watch his behavior for a second. Uh, See where he's at. That's part of the process, guys, is go and sit. Good. So I asked him to sit. I'm gonna make sure I'm following through with that, guys. So big on consistency. And again, the big thing is, is not letting him make decisions. And if I ask him to sit and then he gets up and walks away, that puts him back in the driver's seat. No dog with this state of mind should ever be in the driver's seat. And um, this is part of the process. Good job. So one thing to notice, guys, is his eyes. So his eyes are a little bit calmer. Uh, they're not as escapey as they, as they were. Sit. Again, just putting him back into a sit and making sure that he understands that there's no decision. He's not making decisions. And that's like been a lot of the problems probably at home with him is, hey, we have a super insecure, super nervous dog with low confidence. But again, sit. He's making decisions on an everyday basis and he shouldn't be. That's part of his confidence issue. He, somebody needs to take the wheel of this dog and help him become more confident. Good job. Nope, sit. Good. Ah, uh ah, -uh. sit. Good, and then it's gonna be on me when we break him, guys, that's all. Nope, sit, good. Okay, bones break. Good job, buddy, good. So that's just a quick exercise anybody can do out there with a the dog that's uh, a little insecure. I'm gonna put him on his long line and let him do what he wants now. But if you wanna just come over here and give these guys a visual on him actually just staying stationary. So this is big for him. Good job, Bones. Yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. All right, you guys, so the next phase I'm gonna do is just after we've done the leash pressure and building confidence on the leash, much better. I just went in and talked to uh, Zach, one of our trainers, and just said like, hey, he's not hugging the wall anymore, so that's really good. Um, but one thing I'm gonna do now is introduce food. So whenever you have a dog that's insecure and a little bit nervy outside, control their resources. If they like food, use it to your advantage. So one thing I have never tried before is I want to get this dog's attention and engagement on me and because he's so focused on everything else he gets into like this fight or flight thing where he's constantly like moving around as you guys have seen. So what I'm going to do is I have a big thing of food here guys and 
I know it seems a little non-traditional, but that's what I'm about as I don't really follow the book. I want to just do what's best for the dog. So I'm going to use this big piece of food. He doesn't know I have it yet. And I'm just going to get him on me and I'm going to teach him the place command as well. So that will hopefully keep his focus on me long enough to decrease the anxiety and the uh, insecurities as well. Bones. Hey, what's this? Oh, good. Come on. Yes, good boy. Uh, this is working out good. He's not chomping at it like I thought maybe he would. Good job. Good job. Come on. Good job, buddy. Yes, good. Okay, come on. Good, good. So the micro guys here is I'm teaching him to follow me around. We're, build, we're building a relationship. The macro or the bigger picture guys is he's not anxious, which is the only thing that I care about during this first session because of his anxiety. Good job, sit. Good, yes. good boy. So again, guys, he's working on this food here. Good. I'm gonna remove it a little bit. Good. Yes, good job, engagement, beautiful. Yes, good job, we can start working on focus command. Good focus, yes, buddy. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go. Good job, big man, let's go. Switch over to his long line, come on, buddy. Yes, 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 yes. Good boy, I'm gonna pay him. Good boy, come on, let's go. Yes, Bones, let's go, 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 let's go. Yes, Bones, sit. Yes, Bones, let's go over here, place. He's like, what the hell's that? Yes, good place. Good job. Good. So again, guys, I'm gonna work on that sit command, holding him here. I'm also gonna direct him at me. Good. Good focus, good boy. Yes, good focus, so yes. Yes, good focus, buddy. Good focus. Focus. Yes, good job. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good, so this is working out really, really nicely. I'm getting engagement. And like I said, I'm, I'm gonna run this a little bit longer. Do the same thing with directional change. I'm gonna wrap it all up here in a second. And we'll just see like all the exercises that I've done in the last 15 minutes. I'm gonna put it into one and we're gonna see if we have a dog that is changing. Again, on my, on my channel guys, I'm really big about, I'm taking realistic situations not in a studio, not in a closed set, with a dog that just came in from New York City that has real problems. And um, we're trying to uh, not fix them in one session, gain progression, film it, upload it for you guys, so you guys can go home and work on some of this stuff and hopefully help your dogs at home. If you guys haven't yet, don't forget, do me a favor, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and leave a comment in the comments below telling Bones what a good job he's doing. <laughs> good job, buddy. All right, so now what I'm gonna do guys, and, and again, like this is how much he's taken out, hardly any. So if you guys can see that, he's only taken out just a little bit of, of food actually. So he's not eating the whole thing. Um, that would be a real counterproductive thing by feeding him one of these for a sit or something. So now what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna work on leash pressure. So I'm gonna take the long line off because I feel confident that he's not gonna try to back out anymore because he's doing much better. This is very basic uh, stuff that we're doing, very easy stuff, but I'm not so much working on the obedience as I am working on his mental state of mind. Heel. Good job, Bones. Look at that, guys. He's looking at me. Yes, buddy. Yes, buddy. Good job. Bones, sit. Yes, buddy. Good sit. Absolutely wonderful. This is a dog I just talked to my trainers about barking hysterically. You guys saw him in the beginning, barking hysterically, spinning, trying to get off the leash. Zero, zero engagement with the handler to what we're seeing right now. I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy with him. Good job, Bones. Heel. Good man. Good heel. Yes, buddy. Good heel. And in the future, guys, of course he's looking at me for the food. It's a bit of cheating right now, but I do not care. This is absolutely fantastic progression for this dog that was raised in a U-Haul. Good job. Well done. Well done. I'm gonna pause for a second. I wanna, I wanna check his uh, state of mind really quick. Just gonna stay neutral, not ask of anything. He offers me a sit. I'm gonna pay him. A Little bit of free shaping. I didn't ask him to do anything, but he did a nice behavior. Good. And I'm just, again, I'm auditing and checking his state of mind. He's showing me um, a little bit better. Yeah, buddy, good. Much better. Good job, Bones. Good man. Good man. Heel. 
Look at this loose leash, guys. I'm so proud of this dude. It's, it's not me, guys. It's this dog. He's doing absolutely fantastic. First session, knocking it out of the park. Well done, Bones. Well done. Well done, Bones. Okay, Bones, sit. Yes, buddy. Good job. See if I can actually break him off some. Good job, buddy. Good job. So you guys, oh, well done. This is a dog that I did an online with living in New York City and they really couldn't bring this dog out anywhere on the leash because he would spaz as you guys saw in the beginning of the session. And we just went from not sweating to sweating. No, but um, we just went from absolute complete and utter like anxiety ridden, backing out of the harness, whining, habitually barking out of nothing. Um, and now we're, we're in a better spot. Yes, I'm using food to help just using a very simple setup with a slip here. Uh, I started off with uh, the long line on his harness because of how many times he's tried to back out. And we've made very, very, very good progression with this dog very fast. So um, that's a wrap for today. It's the first session. Um, for any of you working on dog anxiety when you go home, there's a couple key components of keeping it short and sweet, keeping it very engaging. As you can tell, he's gonna start getting a little ang anxious a little bit here but that's okay because he's 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 doing a lot better than he was i couldn't even hi buddy good and he's checking back in with me very good just i'm just super happy with it anyway guys again i'm signing off for today catch me next time uh don't forget like this video hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't subscribed yet and i'm gonna go and take a shower i think but well well done bones good job We're taking our shot, bring what you got We're going all the way to the top We will hear the sound of one million people Screaming our names when we're backstage We'll play loud, surfing the crowd Everybody's jumping around